it is time for You Look Marvelous, Norman Osborn. If you want to see what my Norman Osborn aka looks like, please stay tuned. Okay, um, I do these as like cosplays, inspired looks, so I probably would never wear this out in public. Just PTA. Um, I also, I also don't have a lot of wilder colors in my color palette. If it wasn't for Bad Kitty's um, giveaway and getting that palette these collabs would not have been worth it so thank you bad bad kitty because I would not have had a green shade one if it wasn't for winning your palette last year okay so I done both shades of green that's in the the palette that I won um so I done the lighter shade on the top, the darker shade on the bottom. Um, I did do this more inspired to the movie version, on the movie side of the Green Goblin. So I did a metallic, like silver in the corner. I don't know if you can see it. Um, and all these shades are kind of a metallic color as well. Um, I did do a highlight of like an orange tone that I have never tried like a highlight in my life but I did try to do a highlight this time um that's an orange tone on my cheeks and then my like bone structure here like you're supposed to because I don't know how to do highlighting this is the first highlighting I've ever tried <laughs> so tell me did I do highlighting properly and then I did a purple lip that is a metallic purple lip that's called unicorn which is magical I just and I did just buy that lipstick because it was called unicorn but so this is my Norman aka Green Goblin makeup look um, I did wear the putting down collar because he's a businessman and like always now we do the bio of the actual character and why I chose this character. But before I do that, I would really love to see some of you guys that watch so many of my videos finally hit that big red button, turn it gray, and become part of our kitten fam. Because I really, really like seeing everybody be part of the family. Um, but anyway, now, part of the collab. Uh, so, I picked Norman kind of for two reasons. One, this month was M and N, and I didn't really know um, many M and N characters in the Marvel Universe. So, one. <laughs> and two, he had, he, the Green Goblin is like, to me, the ultimate supervillain for Spider-Man. So, I thought, well, because next month, or this month, I'm doing Spider-Man, a.k.a. or Peter Parker, a.k.a. Spider-Man, for a nail look. So, this month and next month, or July and August looks for me are kind of working together. So, I thought... Norman, July, Peter, August. So I got kind of behind. But anyway, the backstory on Norman, because I like to do backstories on these. Um, Norman is the founder, CEO, and altogether boss of Oscor. Um, he is a brilliant scientist. Um, with Sai. Uh, psychological problems <laughs> which all supervillains have but uh, 
when he uses his nanites or he like he's he's seeing if they work it transforms him into the supervillain Green Goblin and with the Green Goblin abilities he has the ability to run faster to run faster um, kind of a little bit of stronger than an average person not like superhuman strength but he is stronger than an average person um, he has more stamina or he can go a lot further without passing out um, he does kind of have a little bit of like a spider sense um, not like Peter but kind of he still kind of can sense things um, and he's already in highly intelligent before he even does that um, so with the intelligence and the scientific stuff um, that's one of the things that makes him such the perfect villain for Spider-Man because Spider-Man goes for like a lot of scientific um, more smart ways of defeating his villains um, instead of just getting in there and fighting um, and I think because of that that's the reason I really liked Spider-Man as a kid because I was very big in the Batman and Spider-Man is kind of on the same terms as Batman is he's more intelligent than he is a uh, brute um, if you read the right version um, they on all ver all heroes they do have like a version where they're like an actual detective smart outsmarting thing people uh, slash their brute so you kind of have to take it with a grain of salt sometimes but anyway that's why I picked the Green Goblin slash Norman Osborn um, because he will be kind of a uh, hand in hand with my collab for August so if you like these collabs, please do let me know in the comments down below. Like them and go and check those lovely ladies that are also doing this collab down there out. And when you go, please do hashtag Miss Kelly's Kitten Raid in their comment section where they know you came from the channel. Um, please do go and use my affiliate link. Yes, I have an affiliate link now. Um, ladies <laughs> at I love hi -ho .com. they do cinnamon products like reusable pads and um, this is their breast tape um, and so if you have the need for this or reusable pads because it's pandemic and you can't always find paper products so the reusable pads are very good to have in a pinch um, they are very comfortable and they wash clean um, in your washer no problem because I have used them myself um, so if you want to go and check them out their link will be down below and use my affiliate link Kelly T15 to get 15% off your order. With that promo kind of thing out of the way, I <laughs> will see you all in the next video. Please be kind to one another. Enjoy your day. Don't just end your day. And remember, I love you all very, very much. Bye bye.